you know, whatever. Do you know, that's the reality. Of, uh, I don't have any O levels. I never took any O levels. I was told that no kid like me would ever sit an exam. Do you know, so on the first day of my secondary education. That's why I decided, decide, when I was 14, walking past Crystal Palace football ground, I, I'm a palace supporter and I, I used to, yeah, that's a sad thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's resilience. <laughs> I decided that when I grew up, I was going to start a school that was worth going to. Of course, I knew nothing, and, and it's just the sheer, the sheer determination to keep going and keep going together. Do you know, so you're a great cohort together. You know, we all know this works, don't we? That's your point, isn't it? Proving it uh, empirically is, dif is difficult because, you know, Einstein said, you know, you can't measure the things you care about. So in the end up, in the end up, in the end, you, you end up caring about the things you can measure. You know, so, so, but we all know that when, you see, some of the kids here, I know I'm getting anecdotal again, but some of the kids here, some of the kids here, you know, their mums can't read to them. We know, don't we, that, it, well, in fact, the experts, are, they say, is it four or five or six times better than anything else? When a mum holds her child, a little five-year-old child, and sits the child on her knee, which they can do there, when a mum holds the child and a mother reads to her child, but it's not just the reading that's going on, the bonding, the sense of self-worth and self-esteem, it grows and that resilience is what equips the kid for life, besides the reading being more powerful than anything else. But what if the mum can't read? What if the mum is never touched with tenderness by anyone else? What if every day she's told that she's useless and stupid and beaten around or psychologically damaged? So until we work with the mum, until the mum can be touched with tenderness, smiled at, until someone has a cup of coffee with her, then that child is never going to find the resilience for life. Now we know all of this stuff, and it's if we know it, and you do know it, don't you? You know it. If we know it, we have to live for it, even if it's out of fashion. I remind you that Copernicus spent his life in house imprisonment, and Galileo, 60 years later, went to see the Pope and said, Copernicus was right about the Earth and the Sun, and his books were burned, and he was house imprisoned. But they were both right, and their science changed the universe, or our understanding of it. So we just got, you know, in the end, in the end, you know, we're all dead for a long time, aren't we? Do you know? So, so that, that's true, isn't it? So in the end, there's going to come a day when you're sat there and you're 70, if we last that long, and you sit on a chair and you go, what did I give my life to? Give your life to something you know is going to change the planet. It's just resilience, but you've got each other, and this, is a, this year's journey you're on is going to be amazing, isn't it? a great answer because you basically summed up vocation yeah. in a much more eloquent way than I would be able to. <laughs> and we're all medics, well, or, or in the sphere of health. So that's what we do have. Yes. It's just reminding us to use it that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. So thank you. Yeah. We're slinging money down the but, you know, we might as well take the money out and burn it in the garden for the way that we're using it in the NHS at the moment, a lot of the time. That's not, you know, we're doing it in education. We do, all, and you know, across Whitehall, you, you know, my job is working with people in Whitehall and other. You have endless people, none of whom believe in what they're doing, but all of whom keep doing it. <laughs> Isn't that true? You know, because we're all in a system that we can't change. Someone has to say, the emperor's wearing no clothes, and it, you look like heretics. <laughs> <laughs> On that bombshell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um,